Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we finally have our first look at the Rainbow High collaboration premium edition collector doll Paris Hilton doll. <laughs> I don't know what the title is, but she's a collector doll and uh, we have our first look finally and we also have some Shadow High series 2 news So stay tuned and let's get into it. Yes, after waiting forever and ever and almost even doubting if she was gonna come out this year We finally have our first look at the Paris Hilton collector edition doll um, And she is magnificent now these pictures here are from pink fire 13 um, So credit goes to them and then we also have some pictures from Maddie dolls and alien dolls and so many people like basically there was a link circulating to um a Walmart listing for this doll they didn't they didn't even like list her as a Paris Hilton doll she was mysteriously listed as a collector edition doll priced at 99 US dollars and surprise surprise by the way that link no longer works but we'll get to that later so yes this is the paris hilton doll 99 us dollars you heard that right and uh, a few people a few lucky people ordered very quickly and got her very quickly as well like over the weekend and um she shipped right out from walmart again i guess they they were too early and they listed her and uh, that was a big boo-boo <laughs> I guess, you know, Rainbow High still has not revealed her officially, which is kind of insane. But um, here she is now. And wow, wow, that's hot. Now, you might recognize this kind of box design already from Lily Chang's box, which is identical to Paris Hilton's box here. They share the exact same design as well with the little Velcro opening at the front, that artwork at the front and the back. And then when you open it up, it's kind of like you get this the doll in the middle and then on the both in the inside of both um, little flaps, there's something to see. So on the right, we have a full body artwork of Paris Hilton in her dress that she's also wearing on the doll. And then on the other side, we actually get to see a description for Paris Hilton herself. Also similarly to Lily Chang's box, she also has a little tag at the top. And on the one side of her box, we can see it says premium edition. Here's also the barcode for anyone interested, thanks to at Maddie checklist. Now going back to that whole thing with the link yes there was a link and i even saved it two times and as you can see here this is what it looked like before it's really just listed as rainbow high premium doll uh, 99 us dollars there were no pictures or anything but you were able to buy it and now i checked today it shows me this it doesn't work anymore so obviously rainbow high has noticed that um paris hilton was getting released way too early and they took that link down very quickly so if you were wanting to get her with that link i'm sorry it does no longer work but um yeah i i imagine that they were going to reveal her for christmas or something um now i i'm guessing they're going to reveal her way earlier like maybe in the next week or so i would hope because i mean we've all seen her how much longer can they make us wait and make it and not make it ridiculous because <laughs> we've already seen her now thanks to at alien dolls for sharing these pictures uh close-up pictures of the paris hilton doll also like the parting here the hair rooting so there is no part line and all her hair is pulled up in a ponytail which is kind of weird because usually paris hilton has a high ponytail like that's her look but she also has a little side part going down the front so i kind of it's kind of weird that they didn't include that in her hairstyle which is so basic already so but the hair is really nice and long and it is a really nice mixture of blonde here is a full-on look at everything she comes with so she comes with two full outfits two sets of earrings a iphone iphone case a little puppy that is poseable by the way that is kind of insane and then her dress here even when you open it up it has a little label that uh reads rainbow high x paris hilton that is very very luxurious Luxurious, right it's very like next level love that she does have some articulation at the ankles which personally i don't need but okay that's great um the makeup box that she comes with does open up um but realistically i don't know what you could do with that um and then here's a bit of look at the dog the pomeranian pomeranian mr um amazing or what, what, what was his name <laughs> i don't know but he's super cute he's a super cute little it almost looks like he's stuffed um like stuffed dog you know like a teddy bear um it does not look like a real life pomeranian but it is and it's posable 
and it's flocked and it's adorable. She does also come with a doll stand, matching hairbrush, and also a set of hangers, which is great. So she comes with like the whole thing, um, and a tiara, even like little bracelets and a choker and a gloves and I, so she comes with a lot of stuff, obviously. Um, and then here she is in her other outfit, which we've mainly been seeing her wear in the show. This is kind of like very iconic. I love the design. Um, it is unfortunate because yes, does have it does have a lot of pearls and rhinestones glued on and unfortunately it has been reported that all these these pearls come off very easily so y'all better be careful when you get your hands on this doll because um yeah i mean these pearls they're just even if they're glued on they're just very precautiously placed and then they just pop off any second so that's kind of unfortunate but also like what can you do um it is a very intricate design so i appreciate but i also i appreciate the um ambition with this design but it's also yeah it sucks that they will pop off because there's just so many pearls and rhinestones so actually comparing the design of the outfit in the like animated version and then with the real life counterpart i gotta say they did a really good job you know it's a pretty again it's a pretty um in intricate design you know like the blazer dress and then all these rhinestones and pearls and the collar and the sleeves a little cutout on the shoulders and the boots and so it's a lot of little factors that they gotta you know work in for the actual you know outfit so for what it is i feel like it's a very good translation from animation to real life so i do like this outfit a little bit more just because it's, it is so cohesive and it's so it's just more iconic but of course they also did a really good job at translating her little like chain mail dress here into real life the the, the pink that they use for the little paillettes or whatever that is um that looks like chain really good job they've been using that material that uh, that same technique for the brat dolls and like so it's been it's been very in with the doll designs right now um the heels i think in the animated version are a little bit more clear but overall they do look still very much like the same thing and they look like a new mold as well which is always great to have the gloves and everything i also like the little safety pin um attachment at the bottom that is very neat um i do feel like maybe the dress is a little bit long like i feel like maybe it was it's supposed to be a little bit shorter because on um, you know again comparing right but it's it's still good like overall i would say it's a very much one-to-one -one good great execution of a you know animated to real life translation so i definitely applaud them for executing these dresses these outfits very well overall the detail is definitely there i feel like she comes with accessories two sets of earrings a tiara which is so cute and then the level of detail on the second outfit here with all the rhinestones and pearls even though yes they are very likely to come off pop off even just two of them it's just it's it's on like it's just gonna happen it's just gonna happen you, you can't control it it's just the way it's glued and and you know so many of them there's so many pearls but i think overall you know you looking past those little you know uh undeniable factors <laughs> and flaws it's it's so great she's the full package i love her and um yeah there's the whole thing with like the praise yes so she costs a uh, hundred bucks and here's um a comment from Doll Expoudoir, and then here is Explicious's little comment on their stories. I feel like overall, people, yeah, I mean, if you compare this to Monster High Hunt Couture, that was 75, and that was not licensed with like someone like Paris Hilton. So, like, I feel like that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put that in, you gotta factor that in, right? It's the it's the name that they're using, Paris Hilton. It's the license, and then also the actual doll, and then the two outfits, and then the collector level of detail. Um, <clears throat> so there's many factors, and I think overall people understand that. And um, I, I even put a poll on my story, and most people really like it. They really like her. Uh, that was the overall majority, and then some of them said not worth the price. So yes, you know the price, a hundred bucks. But again, if you look at that, you know, comparison between a Hanka Tour doll, which is 75 and is not with like a licensed, you know, big personality like Paris Hilton, 
uh, that's kind of like, yeah, like actually kind of sweet that it's only a hundred because Maria Garcia, you know, Miss Dia de los Muertos, collector doll, she costs a hundred and thirty or something. She's like more, um, which is ridiculous. And she's not, she's not a licensed character. It's not a big personality. It's just it's an original character from Rainbow High. So. Paris Hilton doll costing a hundred and then you factor in all these details, the two outfits, the accessories, the box, the premium level of collector edition status, and then the name Paris Hilton herself, the license. Um, pretty good deal. I mean, realistically, right? Well, how how much would you how much do you think they could have, you know, allowed for her to be? I think a hundred is a pretty good price considering all these factors. And of course, you know, inflation as well, you got to consider that as well. And so I think overall, um, the price is, is, it is, it is fair. I mean, yes, it's expensive, but again, all these factors, you gotta, you gotta look at the big picture here, you know, and she's not supposed to be for little kids. She's supposed to be a collector edition doll. And especially because she's Paris Hilton, I don't think many little kids, uh, will care about that. You know, they don't, most kids don't know about Paris Hilton, realistically, right? She's not of this generation. She has been around forever and she's an icon for us older fans, which that's why I feel like the price also makes more sense because it's not meant for kids. It's really like a collector premium edition doll. And then of course, again, the license of her actual name, Paris Hilton, um, the collaboration, you know, I feel like this is a very, very realistic price. If you look at all these factors, this is a very realistic price nowadays for a collector, for a collector edition doll, especially with a real life personality like Paris Hilton herself. I mean, I don't think her costing 70 would have been realistic. You know, it just, you gotta, it just makes sense. A hundred, but also I'm, I'm glad that she's not like like Maria Garcia. I'm glad she's not like 150 or 30 or whatever. Like she's not 100 and plus. She's like 99. You know, she's like at that sweet spot of like, yeah, she's like 100, but also not like more. So like, yes. And I think overall people will probably wait for her to go on sale. I mean, and I, there's no shame in that. Um, I wish I could, but I'm just, I know that if I get my opportunity, I will, I will jump at it. I need to get her as soon as possible. I mean, it's Paris Hilton. It's a Paris Hilton freaking doll. Are you kidding me? She's decked out in full on pink glam, two outfits. I mean, I need her. I'm obsessed. And like, I even feel like I might want to get two of her just because she's so iconic. And like, it's Paris Hilton. Are you kidding me? It's Paris Hilton. And yes, she also has like a unique nose mold, which I think fits her perfectly. I think it works perfectly for her. I don't know why people have been saying the nose is off. I don't see it. I think it's perfect. If you put her side to side to a real life photo of Paris Hilton, it's, it's immaculate. I mean, it's literally her. Um, well, the only thing again is like the hairstyle, maybe a little side part would have helped, but overall, I mean, it's just, she's the queen. It's Paris Hilton. Are you kidding me? I cannot wait to get her. Um, and I really hope Rainbow High uh, officially reveals her very soon. Cause I mean, come on, we've been waiting forever. And I mean, yes, they pulled the link. Like they took down the link for Walmart, the listing. So that's very sus. It's very fishy. So I really, to me, that tells me that MJ is aware that you know we all know she's happening she's a thing she's coming um so i really just hope that they speed up this you know reveal party or whatever and um they just put her out there because i cannot wait to get her and i do think she will be probably like an online exclusive like lily, lily chang she will be uh, only retail she will you will only you will only be able to get her like online on amazon or walmart or you know so i don't think she will ever come to real life stores Again, Lily Chang kind of makes sense. Um, so I just, I can't wait. And uh, will she get a numbered release? I think so. Yeah, it's really very realistic for her to get a numbered release as well, like Lily Chang and Jet Dawson, especially because she is a premium level doll. I feel like a numbered release will happen sooner or later. Um, it's just also because the tag, she comes with the tag at the top of the box. Of course, they're going to use a tag for the numbered release. It just makes sense. So overall, I think she's a really pretty doll. I cannot wait to get her. She's an icon. It's Paris Hilton. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? She's perfection. Um, I, was, I also just think she's like really well executed, like the face up, the nose, the hairstyle. Again, Maybe a little side part would have helped, but overall the hairstyle is also really nice. It looks like she has really good hair. Um, 
in the outfits i mean they're just top notch i cannot wait i'm in i'm in love i cannot wait to get her before we leave off the video i do have some shadow high tea like promised so we do have some shadow high tea for series two uh, apparently these listings were found on walmart uh thanks to doll versify uh, underscore news on instagram for tagging me and letting me know so these listings were found on walmart and uh the price has gone up so that's that's the part here that's kind of like confusing me so um it's great you know obviously the listings are not like they're not saying shadow high series 2 but they seems like these could be shadow high series 2 and then the price has been um a little it's a little higher so yeah don't know what's up with that i mean they it's they don't come with two outfits so let's see let's see uh, but i i mean since they are listed it seems like maybe they will come out very soon i'm i'm betting they will come out like january next year because um the season season three will you know end off and i and i i already talked about this in my last uh reaction episode video i believe um i said that season c, c series two of shadow high will probably make an appearance at the end of rainbow vision and that'll be like the cliffhanger tease of that of this season and then next season will be all about series two um and shadow high so i hope that's what happens anyways. but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming away daily and keeping you up to date with what adulty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses